I know shower doors can be a real pain in the rear. You may have a door that wobbles to and fro. You may have a door which has a track at the bottom. You get all sorts of gunk and nastiness in there. And you know if you're in the, in the middle of a remodel or new construction project, you don't want to repeat the mistakes of the past. So in this video, we're going to talk to three shower experts to get insights on how you don't repeat those mistakes and have an excellent looking and well-functioning glass shower door. Oh, there's different systems out there. Generally, when you're getting a banging effect, you're having a pivot door. They make sliding doors, which you have one fixed panel, one sliding door, or you have a bypass, which you have two sliding doors. Either one of those are a good option, or if you have the room, you could do a shower screen, which is just a fixed panel, or you can do one that pivots, where it pivots in out a little bit and out a little bit. Typically those uh, cheap wobbly doors are, are framed, um, your builder grade models, and they're a lighter weight um, glass. So you would want to go with something a little heavier, maybe a semi-frameless or frameless, and it just gives you a guide uh, across the bottom to, you know, you won't have water leakage or anything. The product that we stock is all clear glass, but they do have custom you know, glass made where you can get like a rain feature. Uh, there's a bunch of different selections as far as styles of glass. Another thing you can do is glass block. You could do a straight wall, a curved wall, serpentine wall. You can add colors. You can add different uh, varieties of block to kind of get that wow factor as far as, you know, hey, you walk in, it's like, bam. There's nothing worse than have to walk in a shower where there's only one way to get in and it's underneath that shower valve and you turn it on and you're getting soaked and you're cold and it's not fun. A lot of times the bypass is going to be your best option because depending again on where your other stuff in your bathroom is located, you can slide in the one panel to turn on the water and then slide the other panel to walk in. So cleaning a track I know all too well about because my wife, the only time I'm allowed in my master bathroom is to clean the bathroom. That's again that framed shower door. I highly always recommend someone going with a semi-frameless to frameless shower pan. You don't have that track. You don't have that rubber gasket that will catch all the scum and gunk and you don't know how you got there, but it gets there and it builds up. Try to stay with a frameless to semi-frameless shower door. It's very, very important. The old days with the track at the bottom where you got to step over, those are a thing of the past. You want to stay away from that. So try to think frameless to semi-frameless shower doors. They make a base that's a bow front base. So let's say at the corners, it's you know 30, 32 inches. Uh, in the middle, it bows out to about 36. And they do have like a curved glass that you can enter from. And then you have 36 inches where you're standing and you still have your same edge thickness of like 30 to 32. To save some money on a full glass um, shower enclosure, I would recommend you know using just a standard fixed panel. Also, you can use a fixed panel with a what we call a screen that has a pivot on it. You know, a small piece of glass normally is anywhere from 15 to 18 inches. Will pivot in to kind of keep the water from splashing, and that should solve your problem of you know the expense. Most new glass has like a, a film or protectant that's either, you know, placed on after it's tempered or pre-tempered that's baked into it. There's a Microtech is a good system that is basically a film protectant that, you know, is easy to clean. You're going to save the pitting and you're just not going to have that gunk build up. Other companies might have other things. You know, the product we stock all has that Microtech that's built into it. So, you know, just you get the, the water dropping off. It's easier to clean, less pitting, just, you know, cleaner look. I'm in the same way. My wife has the door locked, double bolted, lights off. I'm not even allowed in the house, I think, sometimes. The reason clear glass is so popular nowadays, it does make that bathroom seem a lot bigger. But there are other options. Again, if you're looking for more privacy, and, and my wife's the same way, and in my bathroom it's clear, I don't worry, but in hers it's obscure glass, and we have what they call a rain finish. So there are different finishes to the glass that, that are available. So you could do that if you want more privacy. Go with a rounded shower pan with a rounded door where the door glides, you know, or slides to the you know, left or the right. Sometimes they even have um, where two doors. One will go one way and one goes the other way, which is a nice system. So that, that prevents the, the water pooling. 
being a bigger person trying to get to a shower, you know, there's a couple different options. You could do a shower screen, you could do just a, a fixed panel, or you could do a fixed panel with like a pivot fin on it, as far as the, you know, the opening goes. I hope in this video you've learned about the mistakes associated with shower doors so they don't happen to you and your next project. What I'd recommend is you'd go to InnovateBuildingSolutions.com and then download the glass shower door guide, which is free to you, and or call us at 877-668 to get more information on glass shower doors and solutions to any kind of a shower project you may have.